All right, Smith Machine decline chest press. So you need to have some specialized equipment to do this. You need to have a bench that has a place where you can hook your feet in. That's number one, and number two, you gotta have a good back, okay? Because this puts a fair amount of strain on your back. Um, never a good idea, by the way, to do crunches with your feet hooked under a couch or under something. That really just causes your hip flexors to over-engage. Pulls a lot on your lumbar and thoracic spine, and it puts you at risk of herniating a disc. Check Dr. Stuart McGill out for that one. So you want to be careful when you're doing this. You're not putting anywhere near that kind of force on your hip flexors when you're doing this, but you are using your hip flexors and your core, your abs, to brace yourself. So just make sure that you don't have back problems. You're also going to have to adjust the bench far enough back so that the bar comes down to the lower part of your chest. When you're doing a flat barbell chest press, you want it kind of in the middle of your chest. Uh, when you're doing an incline chest press, when you're sitting upwards to the top of your chest, and when you're declining, it naturally comes to the bottom of your chest. So the seat, you have to kind of play with it because the Smith bar doesn't move this way. So you need to make sure that your chest is in the right position right from the start. It's not like a barbell where you unrack it and then it naturally comes down to where it naturally comes down to, okay? Um, so a chest press. Let's just go over a basic chest press. It is with your core tight, you're lying down, you've got five points of contact, you've got your feet on the ground with your feet gripping the ground, you've got your butt on the bench, you squeeze your shoulder blades together, they're on the bench and your head's on the bench. Everything's flat. Keep your core tight. Engage, engage, engage. You grab the bar and then you engage all the muscles up top by gripping it tight and thinking about that you're trying to bend it. Okay, so really, uh, and that kind of moves your elbows forward a little bit, which starts to engage the triceps a little more, okay? So it brings the triceps more into the motion, which means you're gonna have a stronger press. The muscles we're working here are the pecs, the triceps, and the front and the side deltoid muscles. The pecs adduct your arms, they bring them across your body. Triceps straighten your arms. Front delts raise your arms up, and side delts raise your arms to the sides. All those are happening at once when you're doing a chest press, okay? Smith machine is really cool because it doesn't have that instability. You can really load it up, heavy, heavy, heavy. Um, that works against you too if you're training for general fitness because you don't engage your stabilizer muscles in your shoulders, for example, as much as you would otherwise if you had a, a barbell or dumbbells, right? You need more stability um, so your stabilizers engage more. But there's a pro and a con to using each one. One thing you have to remember when you do a Smith machine press is when you push it up, you have to crank it backwards and keep it cranked backwards through the whole range of motion. Otherwise, you're going to hit the stops here. Okay, so you've got to push it up, crank it, go through your sets, and then move it forward and lock it. And then you look both ways to make sure it's locked before you let it go, or else you're going to end up with a bar come crashing down on you. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to hook my feet in here. The only difference in this from a flat chest press is my feet aren't on the ground, they're hooked under here, and the bench is declined down this way, okay? So this is actually a stronger lift than a flat chest press. Okay, so you can probably add a little bit more weight than you would for your flat press. If you know how much you can flat press on a Smith machine, then you can probably add just a little bit more. So here we go, I'm gonna grab the bar, lower myself down, get in position, Hook my feet in place because what's going to happen when I unrack this, it's going to want to push me off the end here, okay? So, you know, I don't want to be pushed off the end. i got to keep my feet in place. Okay, so here we go. Breathe in, and then out as I unrack it, in as I come down, out as I go up, okay? Here it is. holding great now pull myself forward and I'm gonna sit up so the breathing was in as I come down out as I explode up in as I come down out as I explode up if you have shoulder problems when we come down to 90 degrees if you have bad shoulder problems this is probably not even a good exercise for you you'd want to use dumbbells that you could rotate like this so that there wasn't so much strain on your shoulders this position causes more strain than this if I was pressing in this plane Okay, so there it is. 
Smith machine decline, chest press.